So why am I buying Internet Computer Protocol, otherwise known as ICP, courtesy of the Definity Foundation? Well, they have just made a proposal, an upgrade, if you will, that will integrate smart contracts to Bitcoin. Now, why is that important? Well, see, smart contracts on Bitcoin are still very rare, okay? And there's a couple of events that took place over the last couple of months that kind of set the prerequisite for this to happen. That also set the prerequisite for why I decided to get involved with ICP. Now, the motion proposal to integrate Bitcoin with the internet computer was approved by the community as of September 17th. This means that internet computer will be able to transact Bitcoin faster and cheaper than what we have now. Now, the interesting part about that is without Taproot, it wouldn't have been possible. Now, let's get into some information here, real short and sweet. It says the proposed integration is set to enable smart contracts on the internet computer blockchain to hold, send, and receive Bitcoin without the need for private keys. Over a two-day voting period, which started September 15th, ICP token holders voted for or against the proposed integration with the Bitcoin blockchain. According to the Definity Foundation, which is developing technology for ICP, the integration will result in Bitcoin transactions with fast finality and low transaction costs. Now, this really had me interested because if we come over to their medium, they'll provide a little bit more information as to what this integration is going to be. Now, just going to roll down to the summary so you know we get straight to it here it says that bitcoin is a payment network without support for smart contracts the internet computer will provide smart contracts that can natively hold send and receive bitcoin without the need for bridges or private keys through an application of chain Cree cryptography this will directly integrate both networks. The scope of this feature is the integration of the IC computer with the Bitcoin blockchain with the following goals, making powerful smart contract functionality available for Bitcoin transactions, enabling Bitcoin transactions with fast finality and low transaction costs. Now, it continues to state that smart contract support for Bitcoin would add tremendous value leveraging the combined strength of the Bitcoin network and the world's digital gold reserve and the internet computer as a platform for securely and efficiently executing smart contracts. Now, this is where this is where you're going to see the rabbit hole and I'm going to jump down there for you, okay? An example class of applications that will become possible with this integration are decentralized finance applications, which can be uh, implemented only with wrap, currently can only be implemented through the form of wrapped Bitcoin and an additional trusted entities on blockchain such as Ethereum. Moreover, Bitcoin could be used for paying any kind of services on the internet computer, opening up an endless number of application scenarios. Now, two things. What this means is that the same processes and functionality that we go through on ethereum will now be able to be done on bitcoin without gas fees okay and here's the the second piece this is the confirmation and this is what really made me decide to buy icp coinbase leads eight and a half million dollar raise in a crypto project to bring DeFi to bitcoin okay this just released this morning. It states Portal, a decentralized finance project looking to build out a DeFi ecosystem on the Bitcoin blockchain. Today, it announced that it has raised eight and a half million dollars via a funding round led by Coinbase Ventures. You want to know another project that was heavily funded by Coinbase Ventures? ICP. OK, so. I don't find it a coincidence at all that this these two stories came out within days of each other. All right. They proposed this. Definity proposed this to the community only days before Coinbase was getting ready to amplify their uh, 
their amplify their customer base in the form of bringing DeFi to Bitcoin. All right. So again, that is why I am keeping an eye on ICP because of this smart contract play. Now, if you're curious about the relationship between Bitcoin and smart contracts, I was too. Okay. And this is also why I mentioned the fact that if it wasn't for Taproot, this move would not be able to happen. But just real quick on how Bitcoin does a smart contract. The Bitcoin network supports a wide range of smart contracts using its powerful scripting language called script. Script allows users to establish criteria for their Bitcoin to be spent. The transaction locks specific amounts of Bitcoin to the script. A user must satisfy the criteria in order to spend the Bitcoin locked to the script. In this way, all Bitcoin transactions are smart contracts. So in essence, every time you interact with Bitcoin, send it to someone, receive it, or however, you're executing a smart contract. ICP is allowing for smart contracts to be built on that network. Okay, so this has to revolutionize how we interact with Bitcoin. But uh, I want to share this one too about the let me find it here. Yes, Taproot and Bitcoin smart contracts. Bitcoin's Taproot upgrade will introduce a new type of script called Pay to Taproot, which will unite functionality of P2PKH and P2SH scripts, allowing Bitcoin to be sent to both a public key and arbitrary scripts. However, P2SH and P2WSH allow Bitcoin to be sent to a single script. P2TR uses Merkleized Alternative Script Trees, or MASS, to allow Bitcoin to be sent up to 2 to 128 different arbitrary scripts. Any one of these scripts can be satisfied to spin the Bitcoin. So with taproot guys that occurred earlier in the year, that opened the door for the Lightning Network to increase its capacity. And it also opened up opportunities like internet computer to come forward with the smart contract integration okay now it also states down here at the end some of the next steps is to actually port this over to ethereum as well okay now I have a very interesting story about what ethereum's doing with those smart contracts guys okay this story released yesterday if you can see this, you can see that my screen has been private. This is an incognito window. I had to do this in order to retrieve this article. I'll just read the headline to avoid any further issues. The Thai SEC, SEC in Thailand issues license to Ethereum based real estate project. This project, I believe it's called Fraction. They are going to do exactly what that title entails fractionalized real estate on the Ethereum blockchain, okay? How is that gonna be possible? There's gonna need to be an upgrade to that smart contract system. Now, let's take a look at some of the next steps. It states that now that the motion has passed, research team behind the design will continue to update the community on the project process and timeline. The implementation will take a couple months, so constant uh, communication and updates will be important. Though the motion has passed, there is substantial community feedback to take into account, such as concerns about replica processing, sandboxing as a security requirement for Bitcoin integration. Now, because of similar feedback, the team will soon put forth the community project on sandboxing led by Helge Bahaman, senior researcher for operating systems and security. So they are about to usher in a new age of Bitcoin, guys. OK, now I am aware that some of my viewers have been in the space longer than me. If this isn't as big as I imagine it to be, please let me know. That's how we learn. That's how we learn together. But as far as I am understanding right now, Bitcoin doesn't do smart contracts very well. And the bringing in of smart contracts to Bitcoin has always been a, I'm trying to find the right word here, a goal, a, a, definitely an end goal 
from my understanding. So it ICP was the project to do that. And it makes sense. You have to look at the timeline of ICP, okay? Coinbase listing, pumped, crazy, then crashed. Hasn't been the same since. However, the developments have not stopped coming. And I don't know if you've seen their commercial. You don't just put that together. That that that, that was not cheap, <laughs> all right? So that's my retail thinking. I, I know that based on the advertising for a certain project, how much money is going into this project and where that money is going. But Definity guys, ICP, they have a very vast ecosystem, guys. There's plenty of ways that you can keep up with the community. And as soon as it, okay, ecosystem showcase, there we go. But like I said, this is their ecosystem. They have applications, guys, that are spanning across many different sectors okay we have wallet we have a decentralized messaging service all right better than telegram we there of course there's nfts they have digital identity okay forms of block explorer something that the graph indexes and data uh allocation they focus on they have a form of that right here decentralized banking services matoko playground this one is interesting to me because this is kind of like a DAP school. If you don't have a lot of coding or developing uh, knowledge, you can use Makoto. Now, there are other projects like that, such as Tezos, that also have developer portals where you can come in and learn how to develop. I think that is a very strong thing to have for a project. But as you see, guys, the list goes on with ICP. I'm very interested, and we got some metaverse work going on here. I'm very interested in what ICP is going to do. So that is why I made the video. This episode, guys, is focused on why I'm buying ICP. And I'll tell you, it's because Coinbase is looking to bring DeFi to Bitcoin. To do that, you need smart contracts on Bitcoin. ICP's main focus at the moment is to bring smart contracts to Bitcoin and they're looking to launch by the end of the year. So that's why I'm buying ICP, guys. If you found value in this video, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe so that way you never miss an update on global crypto adoption with that global perspective. Of course, if you want to reach me directly, all the links will be down in the description. Also, don't forget to scan the QR code that you see here on the screen, guys, so you can get on these exchanges and start getting interest on your crypto. That is our greatest weapon as an investor, as a crypto holder in the cryptocurrency space. So with all that being said, guys, I want you to have a great day, have a prosperous day, and most importantly, make that money. I'll see y'all in the next one.